Well, Tom, a game where you get a lot of satisfaction, the, the way you battled the conditions in the first half and then played the football and won the game in the second. Yeah, um, very much a game of two halves. We had to, obviously, you might not be able to see it on the TV, but the wind was just straight down the pitch and it was tough. And um, I must admit that it's one of them feelings where you get in at half time and you think we've, we've got rid of the hardest bit of the game. So, um, yeah, really nice, really. Obviously, the second half was easier on the eye, but the first half was where the game was won, I think, and it was just uh, nice we got the goals that I think we deserved. It's a mental strength as much as anything else in those sort of circumstances, isn't it? Because you know you've got to concentrate on the game, even though you're getting the wind and the rain in your face all the time. Yeah, and it's not going to be pretty. You know, like the the ball was just kept kept on coming. We couldn't get out. Um, not to anyone, not because of anyone's doing anything wrong. It's just one of those things where you you just can't, you can't get the ball far enough. So um, yeah, we, we dug in as a, as a team. I thought. It's one of the performances where you're really proud of the team after the first half and then we know we've got the players who will cause problems in the second and, and luckily they did. Yeah, I mean, you, you were winning possession and breaking really well. That's where the first goal came, you know, Rob Aptry involved, Connor Jennings and, and then Charlie with the finish. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's something we've been doing at the minute. It's sort of being solid, compact as a team and then hitting teams on the counter and when you've got players like Little Robbie and the pace we've got with, with Chaz and that, it's... It must be it must be a nightmare for defences. So um, yeah, we, we stayed resolute first half, and then as you say, we we hit them on the break second half, and, and we got our rewards. Yeah, second goal is always important in those sort of circumstances. Uh, you showed a clinical finish the other day with the the, the right foot, but it's a, a more traditional header for you today, just as important though. Yeah, it's strange like London buses. They don't get one for ages, and then two come along at once. So it's nice, honestly. You were, I think, I think it was a one 0 game to be honest. I think we would have took that, obviously. Um, but yeah, just ni- nice to add that little one at the end, and, and yeah, we move on to New Year's Day. You mentioned Robbie Apter. I mean, he's a he's a fan's favourite already, isn't he? I suppose you're all hoping that you can get it over the line. He's going to stay with you. Yeah, I think everyone's every day asking him what's happening and if, if he'll stay. So um, yeah, he's a, he's a quality player. Um, he gets the fans off the seats, as you say, and and yeah, he's a pleasure to play with. So um, yeah, he's he's one that we hope we can keep. Um, and uh, yeah, and who knows what we can do. And the importance of the squad tonight as well. You know, the players coming off the bench and, and making an impact. You know, you, you get nowhere without them, do you? Yeah, the, the gaffer said that over over this Christmas period we're going to need every, need everyone, and tonight showed that we did. It was, um, as I said, not the prettiest of games, but uh, the lads who came on made an impact. And um, yeah, every day in training they are they are pushing the lads who've got the shirt, and it's it's up to us to keep it. So um, yeah, we'll keep pushing each other forward and hopefully keep moving on. Great festive period, nine points already, and, and now a big challenge for you on New Year's Day. You, you know how good Notts County were earlier in the season when you played them. A real test for you. Yeah, it will be. Um, but as I say, I think they'll be wary of us as well. They've seen what we can do recently, and um, we've, we've since the manager came in permanently, we've had a real turnaround. So, um, yeah, we look forward to it. They're the games you want to play in, and we uh, look forward to that game on New Year's Day. Yeah, I was just asking Nigel, you know, will that be a measure perhaps of how far you've come from them, perhaps, you know, when you play them? On New Year's Day, yeah, potentially. Uh, we know they're a good side, and and um, yeah, it, it will be a good matchup. But um, yeah, we've had a good Christmas period, so we need to enjoy it now, and then and then we'll see what New Year's Day brings. Yeah, four consecutive home wins. You know, the fans are great on their travels, and they'll be looking forward to that game, aren't they? Yeah, we've we've obviously not been good enough away from home, and it's it's nice to finally put a couple of wins together for them. And um, yeah, so going back to Prenton on on New Year's Day, we'll um, they'll be right behind us again, and, and we'll go there do our best. Did you feel we were getting closer and closer? Because obviously, you know, ahead at Sutton and then pulled back at the end. Twice you ahead at Mansfield and almost won that one. Yeah, it just felt as if it was coming your way. Yeah, it's, it sounds ridiculous because it's been so long coming. But I do feel like we've done the wrong end of a lot of luck. There's um, a deflected goal here and then a scramble at Sutton, as you said. And um, now we're just. It feels like things are turning in our favour, which you, you do need. So. We're moving up the table, um, we keep going and uh, that starts on, on New Year's Day. Yeah, rest and recuperation now and just get yourself ready for that? Yeah, it's tough, it's, it's a lot of games but you, you want to play games so roll, roll yourself out there and, and keep going and um, there's a good, the good momentum and a good team spirit so I'm sure we'll be fine. And Captain Tom Davis uh, leading from the front as you always do, how much are you enjoying that? Yeah, I'm loving it, you know, I've got, I've got a sort of a quartet or five five players who were who are leading it with me as well. So it's 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 uh, yeah. As I say, it's a good change room to be in, and it's a nice place to be in. Uh, yeah, we keep marching on.